Hi, so this is going to be a quick video just show, quickly showing you the uh, the new Thermaltake Flow RC Ultra all-in-one water cooling solution for your CPU and your, your memory. It's been wired into my main PC just to demonstrate it. Um, so this is the box that it comes in and this is also the memory which I was given to use this with Tufram RC. It's got two little holes where the screen screws into there which I'll show you in a moment. So coming back to the screens they both connect with micro USB cables which have to be plugged directly into your motherboard USB port. The screen on the CPU can be turned almost 360 degrees. The DDR1 can't be turned but you can rotate it within the application uh, the, uh, the Thermaltake RGB app on the PC. Just at the top here you can see the screws which are screwed into the DDR uh, so that was straightforward simple enough. The CPU it's uh, cooler itself connects just the same as most other coolers do. You get the different fittings supplied with it for AMD and also Intel. You don't use the Thermatech controller with this, which is, this is what you normally get with a lot of things that Thermatech make, like the RGB strips, uh, fans, and a couple of other things. So it does work in conjunction with this on the app, but you don't actually get one of these, because like I say, it connects directly into your, your motherboard. And this is the fans, which you would fit onto the radiator. Uh, quite nice looking silver. But like I said, this isn't properly wired up, so I'm not actually cooling anything at the minute. So some of you might have already used this app in the past, or you might be using it right now with some other Thermaltake stuff. So it's showing the controllers, which are connected. It doesn't actually show on here that the um, all-in-one cooler is connected with the screens, but it does when you move across to lighting, it shows them both here. So we've got the the RAM and the CPU one. So if we go to the lighting and then you click on the RAM, this is where you do all your uh, tinkering to get what you want to display on the screens. This is the default screens just with the Firmatech logo and uh, just at the bottom you can see it's circling through some of the stats on the PC on both of them. So on the app itself, this is what it's doing at the moment. It's just showing the JPEG. If you wanted to change it to one of the other options, so let's say memory temperature, and then just go across to apply. It's as simple as that. And it will show you memory temperature, which is obviously not this memory that's on this motherboard. It's the one that's actually running on my computer. Um, but then also you've got the customization options as well for for this so if you wanted to change the the yellow to let's say red simple as that just click it and it'll change to whatever color you want it to be you can also rotate it try to show it both at the same time so this the memory has got the rotate option which is good it's got the brightness option as well going across to the cpu one Unfortunately, this one doesn't have the rotate option on the application. Hopefully, they'll add it later because uh, it'd be nice to have it there. But like I say, you can manually rotate the CPU yourself. But obviously, if you've got it in a case, you'd have to take your side off and turn it and, and so on. So, I don't know how often people would be wanting to turn it. But um, I suppose they've done it that way just for how you've got your particular system built. Some people might have the motherboard sideways or the GIF that you display on the screen might be turned to a, a specific direction. So you might have to turn turn it yourself, whereas on the RAM, it's straightforward enough, you just do it through the, the software. So I'll just quickly show you what it does in the carousel mode, where it shows all the different stats. So you just click on carousel, apply, and then that will just go through all the different things it can tell you, all the different stats, temperatures, and so on. And then the main one, which I think most people will use, is if you pick the top option, 
which is GIFs or JPEGs and then you click the upload you can just upload for the RAM it needs to be 128 by 480 pixels and for the CPU it needs to be <coughs> 480 by 480 uh, so I've already got some saved on my profiles anyway. So that's my first profile which I've got set up. It's just uh, some GIFs I designed for a competition that I'm doing uh, for Thermotech. And then on my second profile I've got some other GIFs that I did. And for the third one another set of GIFs. So it's as simple as that to swap them over. It's quite easy. You also have the option with the GIFs that you've got on to have the stats showing over the top of the GIF you can click on the all of them or just one particular one and then click on apply and then whatever GIF you've got going just at the bottom there it'll show you the information you've selected so all in all it's a pretty good system uh, especially if you have had enough with RGB and you fancied something a little bit different then this might be the way to go uh, the screens you can have like I said Pretty much anything you can think of, as long as you can turn it into a GIF or a JPEG, you can have it on there. And uh, all the critical system information as well. You know, if you're overclocking or gaming quite a lot and you want to keep an eye on temperatures, then this will save you having to do screen overlays and stuff. Before I finish off, like I said, these GIFs were done for part of a competition. Just for the next couple of days, I think there's some voting, so you can vote for your favourites. I'd appreciate if you've got a chance, if you could head over to the forum, I'll put a link in the description and just put your votes down. That'd be great. And uh, until the next video, I'll catch you later.